copyright disclaimer. Is feminizing the males the only goal of the Kabbalah? And in Kabbalistic wisdom, this is, this is seen as the purpose of all our kama, all our ritual observance, and all our activities to imbue the Shekhinah with energy. It's our focus is on the feminine manifestation of the divine. Um, the of the ten sefirot, the ten fundamental building energies of the universe. The parts where they say they emanate the presence of Shekhinah. Past of all of them is Malchut, which is a feminine energy, which might sound deprecating to women at first glance because it's, it's the last that's the lowest. Malchut, where Shekhinah resides. She's just pure creative juice, and so there's no form to her. It's just all over the place. It's just pure potential. She's a more visceral energy, so I feel divine feminine more in my lower chakras. Not that div not that feminine energy is only present in the lower chakras. It's not that black and white. Lower chakra. Is that the reason why the secret societies conduct orgy? Infinity is imperceptible. But infinity in the wisdom of Kabbalah is a very tangible thing that we attain. Why? Because it comes from the words Ensof, no end. Ensof, according to OxfordReference.com, is the Kabbalistic name for God, being the masculine aspect, the source, the creator. No boundary, no boundary to what? No boundary to the desire, to the fulfillment in the desire. What are those desires? The Zohar is the exact opposite of our dominant intention and why we want what we want. This is what the Kabbalists identify as corporality, our world, the desire to want for myself more, much more than I want for anyone else. It's what we call egoism, but the why of the spiritual or holy books, the very thought they were constructed from is the inverse quality, the will to bestow unconditionally, without a shred of self-consideration, real loving, pure giving. Why? For instance, if I take this cup and I fulfill it to its end, then it means that this cup is in a state of no end, infinity, it's endless. Why? Because it, the, I fulfilled it to its very end. So if we feel our desire to its uh, greatest extent when it can't receive anything else, then it is in the aspect called ensof, no end, infinity. Was implementation in Judaism. Judaism is not a religion where we just hang on a mountain and, and, and meditate. Implementation is considered to be uh, the greatest virtue, especially when it comes to spirituality, because spirituality is so hard to implement, and women are seen as particularly talented in that area. And there's also a messianic idea. It says that the um, when we reach the new age, repeat, new age, new age movement, the final era, the lowest will the this lowest sefirah malchut will invert and become the highest and um, and therefore the, the feminine energy will reign supreme the divine feminine worship of mother earth in judaism we believe in higher dimensions we are compelled to assume the existence of an ultimate creator that caused the creation of this world but also all the upper worlds shamayim veha'aretz so when we say god is one or everything is one what we mean is that everything contained within the entire creation which includes Shamaim Veha'aretz, the heavens and earth, has one common ancestor. And that common ancestor contains the blueprint, or the DNA, for the entire creation. Oneness. The one world. Religion. Actually, um, uh, our tradition teaches is that the teachings, women have a more intuitive knowledge of the truth of oneness, more than men. Deeper reason why they want to effeminize the males. We're not living in a time where, where secrets are really viable, never, never mind desirable. But there's more to it than that. The Zohar, which is the fundamental text of the Kabbalah, mentions this, it really predicts the Industrial Revolution. It mentions in a, a certain uh, century, which roughly tallies with the onset of the Industrial Revolution, there will be an opening of a wisdom from above, and there will be an opening of wisdom from below. As above, hence below, Freemasonry's law of reversal.
book. It's titled The Book of Radiance. That's in English. In Hebrew, it's called Sefer HaZohar. It's 2,000 years old, and get this. It was written specifically for this time, for the first generation that would one day wake up in a cold sweat and realize that the entire world is connected. We're one living, breathing whole. That's the ultimate goal after all. Love your friend as yourself. It's the general law of the universe, and it describes the ultimate condition of our being called the world of infinity, in which the inner existence of all people are united into one general system, completely interconnected and completely fulfilled by the giving force. All of the other laws of nature are just less complete stages of this connection. Oneness. The Luciferian. Agenda. It isn't even his real name. It's Heilel. Ban Shakhar. Heilel. The Shining Akkad. There's the Triple Six. Hell. Implying Gehinom. Halal was its root, the bar. Approach is that there should be a total globalization of the deepest secrets of Kabbalistic wisdom to all circles. Hence, they promote spirituality, New Age movement. Even in Islam, Shekhinah is present only pronounced differently. It refers to tranquility, the Shalom Hanafash, Shachet Nafshi. Other huge religions are already tapping into them in different names. In Christianity, it already crept in. The pastors are using it. The glory of God filled the temple. The Shekinah glory, the glory of God, filled that temple. Did you know that? You will see the cloud, the glory, the Shekinah glory, this cloud fill the millennial temple according to the book of Ezekiel chapter 43. Lying in their teeth. It's the shape of the letter Shin. It looks like he's wearing a mask, literally. Those I. Hebrew alphabet Shin. Very interesting letter in the, in the uh, language. It, it's the first letter in the word Shaddai, the first letter in the word Shalom, first letter in the word Shekhinah, which is the name of the feminine aspect of God. Feminine aspect of their G-O-D. Baphomet. To have a space to talk about the Shekhinah, the divine feminine. Is it a stretch to conclude that this will or this is the one world religion? Then Yahushua uttered to him, Go, Shatan. For it has been written, you shall worship Yahuwah Aloheika. Him alone you shall serve. Exaltation to Yahuwah through Yahushua HaMashiach. Shalom, shalom.